it's Dan and Michelle with Honeymoon Always. We just arrived at Sandals Emerald Bay in Great Exuma in the Bahamas. This is the last stop on the first leg of our ultimate Caribbean honeymoon tour. We just got off a little baby plane from Nassau. It's about 10 a.m., so our room isn't quite ready yet, and the staff let us change in the spa so we could enjoy the pool while we wait. As soon as we got in the pool, the staff started playing a game of bingo for charity. I wasn't interested in playing, but I turned around to find Dan laying in the pool with a bingo card. Then, much to both of our surprise, he won. Oh my gosh, what did you win? I don't know. <laughs> How does it feel to be a winner? It feels awesome. <laughs> Let's go to four, Dan. After you won, they then played a few more rounds of bingo and I took Dan's bingo card so I could play. And I ended up winning too. From our epic apartment, let's go to floor, Michelle. I feel amazing, I want a free photo shoot, so. <laughs> Winner's over here. <laughs> so our stay was off to an amazing start. Following our big bingo wins, our room was ready, so we went to go tour that. We stayed in the Beach House one bedroom butler suite. This suite has a beautiful view of the resort and the ocean, has a lot of extra space, a fully stocked bar, as well as butler service. Hey there. You guys have some pizzas here. All right, what kind of pizza? Deal. We were just talking about what we were going to have for lunch. <laughs> Fixed. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Now the best part about having access to butler service at Sandals Resorts is that they basically take care of all the little details for you like restaurant reservations. Okay, we had the butler set up breakfast in the room for us. I'm so excited. Such a lovely view. Definitely a perk of having a butler and setting up your poolside cabana, those types of things. But they also went above and beyond in other ways. And uh, here are some of the fun moments where we experienced butler service. Look what our butler brought. He, like, <laughs> our butler set up this station and then like brought us this little cooler of drinks. And they're filling up the pool with a fire hose. <laughs> so have you seen that before? Butler brought us nachos. This resort features 11 restaurants and six bars. This includes an Italian restaurant, a Jamaican jerk shack, and one of our favorites, kimonos, which is a hibachi grill. Okay, one, two. Yeah, this is oh my goodness. Oh. Activities, Sandals Emerald Bay has two main pools. One that's really big and beautiful, has lots of music and games like bingo, and the other which is so quiet that they don't even allow a blender at the bar. The beach at this resort is beautiful. The water is stunning and clear. The sand is great, although we were there during hurricane season and I think that might have contributed to a lot of the garbage and stuff that was kind of on the beach, but that was getting cleaned up regularly and I don't know if that would exist other times of the year. But here's where you can also enjoy a lot of water sports. Today we are gonna go do the most like famous thing you can do in the Bahamas and that is to go swimming with the pigs. I'm so excited. I've heard it's super fun um, and thankfully we have a butler who packed us a sandwich for a snack and he said it would be about five hours. So let's go.
We hopped on the bus to get on a boat ride out to an island where all the pigs live. And once you show up, they know you have food, so they come out and swim with you. Up until this point, my only exposure to this experience was that they did this one time on an episode of The Bachelor. And in that episode, all the women were just running around screaming. And so I thought it would be scary, but it was so much fun. Even though I got super kicked by one of the pigs and ended up with a big bruise, I had the absolute best time. What I didn't expect is that also in the water are some stingray and we got to pet them and hold them. Incredible. Next, we hopped back on the boat to go to another island that had the most beautiful sand and water I have ever seen in my entire life. on the boat again to go to another island where we got to take a small little hike and it gave us a really beautiful lookout point. A tip we got from people who had taken this excursion before was to pack your hiking sandals so this will be more comfortable. The last thing we did on this excursion was stop at a final island that is covered in these giant iguanas and we fed them grapes. It was very Jurassic Park-esque. I loved it. The excursion was about $200 each, which we both thought might have been a little expensive until we went on the excursion and felt like it was the best thing we've ever done. So we definitely recommend it and 100% would do it again. The last thing I'll say about Sandals Emerald Bay is that there are a lot of cats on site, which of course Dan loved. We're gonna leave a link in the description below for more information about this resort. And by clicking on those links, it does support our channel. So thank you so much. If you have any questions, you can always leave a comment or shoot us a message. We hope you'll like this video, subscribe to our channel, follow along with us on Instagram at honeymoonalways, and we'll see you at the next stop.